In this video, we will learn about analytical reasoning in detail. Analytical reasoning questions, also called the analytical game, is a set of questions 3 to 7 based on a given situation such as students standing in a row, selecting members for the committee from the given candidates, scheduling the project tasks, etc. Analytical reasoning questions are designed to check the one's ability of conceptual learning and how one responds to solve a complex situation. Each analytical reasoning set consists of what is and what to do, explaining the actual situation, limitation, related statements, and sometimes other helpful material, and what is objective, or what to do. Analytical reasoning also consists of three to seven questions that check to understand a complex situation and its implications. For solving the analytical reasoning questions there is no need for high-level knowledge of formal logic or mathematics rules, only basic general logic of daily life are used to solve the analytical reasoning question. Vocabulary, skills, conceptual ability, and computation or general math ability are very helpful for solving analytical reasoning problems. If one fails to understand the meaning of a single word then he cannot respond to all questions correctly and similarly one fails to understand the concept of a statement then again, he cannot respond to all questions correctly. Logical re reasoning, verbal reasoning, refers to the ability of a candidate to understand and logically work through concepts and problems expressed in words. It checks the ability to extract and work with the meaning, information, and implications from the bulk of the text. In logical reasoning, they have simply given a short paragraph, and they have made a question from the. After that, you will have four or maybe f options in which one will be correct. The second type is logical connectives question, these are questions in which you will have to connect different scenarios with one another. Please have a look at the example. A syllogism is a three-part logical argument, based on deductive reasoning, in which two premises are combined to conclude. So long as the premises of the syllogism are true and the syllogism is correctly structured, the conclusion will be true. An example of a syllogism is, all mammals are animals. All elephants are mammals. Therefore, all elephants are animals. In a syllogism, the more general premise is called the major premise, in this case, all mammals are animals. The more specific premise is called the minor premise, here, all elephants are mammals. The conclusion joins the logic of the two premises, therefore, all elephants are animals. In true-false. Each problem consists of three statements. Based on the first two statements, the third statement may be true, false, or uncertain. You can check the mentioned example on the screen. In the sequencing type of analytical reasoning, we can say, a sequence question is also known as a ranking or an ordering question. It requires learners to drag and drop items in the correct sequence. In this question type, all items must be in the proper order to be graded as correct. In other words, the answer is considered correct only when all items are in order. Sequence questions are useful when you want to test learners on a procedure or process. Ordering questions require the student to put a number of items into the correct order. This could be chronological or procedural for example. Chronological questions order elements in a time sequence. For example, John was born before Smith who was born before Paul who was born before Emma. In the lineup questions that we studied earlier, the elements were ordered spatially. In chronological ordering questions, the elements are ordered sequentially. One type is quantifiable like size, height, etc. Blood relations is the most studied topic of logical reasoning and is one of the few topics which has found its importance in almost every entrance exam. This topic tests the analytical skills of the students and how one can approach the solution of logical problems with the help of diagrams instead of calculations. Because grouping questions partition elements into sets, the number of elements is often an issue. As mentioned before, counting can be challenging. This tends to make grouping questions more difficult than ordering questions. Pay close attention to the maximum or the minimum number of elements in a group this is often the heart of the question. Grouping questions can be classified as those that partition the elements into two groups, and those that partition the elements into three or more groups. 
The former is sometimes called selection questions because they select elements from a pool, dividing the pool into two groups, those selected and those not selected.